Welcome to Electro Online, and here's our third video on how to draw roses. Roses is one of those peculiar forms in polar coordinates when we start graphing things, and we see that a lot in a lot of different applications. So let's go ahead and do this one as well. Now, in the previous two, we dealt with the cosine of an angle, both even and odd angles. Here we're going to do the sine. We'll start with the odd angle, and then we'll do the even angle after that. Remember, with the odd angle, the number leaves equals the number from the angle. So this would be one leaf, this would be three leaves, and this would be five leaves. Also, with the cosine, the first leaf always starts on the horizontal positive x direction axis. But in the sine, it'll, de it'll depend upon what the equation looks like. In this case, the, f the way you find the first leaf is you take 90 degrees and divide by the number in front of the angle, which is 1, which means that the first leaf starts at an angle of 90 degrees, which is in this direction right here. In that particular case, the first leaf starts at 90 degrees divided by the number in front of the angle, which is 3, which is at an angle of 30 degrees. So if we go up 30 degrees, like that, this is the axis about which the first leaf will form. And of course, since there's three leaves, and then they're, they're situated at an equal distance away from each other in terms of angle, at an equal angle away from each other, you can then find that the other two can be found by taking 360 degrees. Let's take 360 degrees divided by 3, which is 120 degrees. That means that every 120 degrees, you will find the leaf. So at 120 degrees, at 150 degrees, so that would be in this direction right here. So it would be at 150 degrees, add 120 degrees to that, that would be right here at 270 degrees. So those would be the, two lo the three locations where the three leaves are found. So at 30, at 150, and at 270. Let me put 30 degrees down right there. So that's how we find the location of the leaves. In a five-leaf rose, the first leaf is going to be found by taking 90 degrees divided by the number from the angle, which is 5. So 5 goes into 90. That would be, hmm, hmm, 18? That would be 18 degrees, wouldn't it? 5 times 18 is, um, is a 90, so that means the first leaf would be found at an angle of 18 degrees. Now, where are the other leaves? Well, there would be five leaves. They're spaced apart in equal angles. So we take 360 degrees and divide it by 5, and what do we get? 5 times 360, ah, I better... Make sure I get this right, divided by 5 equals 72 degrees, that's right. So every 72 degrees, so add 72 to 19, that gives you 90 degrees, so there'll be a second leaf at 90 degrees, a third leaf would be 90 plus 72, that's 162 degrees, that would be right about there, 162 degrees. Add 72 to that, that would be 234 degrees, uh, 234, that would put us right about here. And add 72 to that, that would be 306 degrees, that would be right about here. And so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 leaves, all evenly spaced, 72 degrees away from each other, starting at 18 degrees. So that's how you determine how to graph these. Now the rest would be relatively simple, with a one leaf rose starting at the top right here, so 1, 2, 3 units away, because we have 3 right there, so this would simply look like a circle, just like that. The three leaf is a little nicer like that, so we start at the first one over here, so one, two, three, start right there, so we go like this, we go like this, let me draw like this, and we come back around like this, and there's your three leaf rows for the r equals three sine of three theta. Of course, again, the number three in front simply determines how big each leaf is, how long each leaf is. All right, for the five leaf, remember we start at 18 degrees, one, two, three units. So go like this, then we come this way, then we come this way, and this way, this way, and finally we complete this one right there. And there's your five leaf rows. Again, all lines should go exactly to the origin right there, and this one is a little bit out of shape, but hey, not bad for hand-drawn one. And that's how we go ahead and draw the odd functions, the 1 theta, 3 theta, 5 theta for the sine. Notice the first one starts at 90 degrees divided by the number from the angle, so it starts at 90. 9 divided by 3 is at 30 degrees, 9 degrees divided by 5 is 18 degrees, and then you space them out according to taking the 360 degrees divided by the number you have here, because that's how f you have to divide the space in angle between the number of leaves you're going to draw. And that's 
how we draw the out functions. Now in the next video, we'll draw the even functions, see how you do those.